Greetings friends. Welcome to Black Metal and Brews. We are here at the end of the month of September and I needed to fit this video in before the weather got much colder. We're entering my favorite time of year for dark beers, crazy spiced beers, etc. And I begin to look more and more like a, a raggedy professor of English or philosophy at some great liberal arts school or something. So bear with my unkempt appearance as it progresses over the colder months. Uh, everybody's favorite ball of fluff is here. Uh, she is currently surveying her environment. Uh, you can hear that the shower is in use in the other room, so bear with me. Uh, we make do with what we have. Tonight, we'll be uh, drinking a Session IPA from Sierra Nevada and Crux. It's the Paddle Trail Ale. Uh, I trust Crux highly, and Sierra Nevada way more than their uh, than, than a brewery their size would normally get for me. So, this is the last in a four pack. I can safely say I enjoy this, but we're gonna let's get that. I'm gonna pop this tape in real quick. Uh, today we're listening to KLLK's. Oh, this is a long title. It's a uh, between the first heliocentric wind and the great devourer of light, uh, and it's. Like a burnt paper sleeve here. You can see that hole there. I'll get closer to you in a minute. New setup, still getting used to. Thanks for your patience. Each side of this cassette, which is sold out because I take my time, uh, each side of this cassette contains one track. Uh, the, we're going to listen to the A side with Rahu. Uh, R-A-H-U. I, I may be pronouncing this entirely incorrectly. This was released by a Mithra Infrasound Infrastructure. Uh, really great tape, and I kind of wish I had got my hands on the first KLLK tape. I mean, look at this beautiful little sleeve. Really lovely little assembly there. Uh, even, you know, hand numbered, all that. Came with this great little patch. Uh, trying to make it clear for you. We're going to get ourselves a nice little pour while we get that opening ambiance. Uh, this tape kind of won me over from the get-go. It's just really murky, thick, uh, hazy, slow, hideous, black murk. I, I say murk a lot. We're not talking like the incantation stuff. Uh, there's, I don't know, you can't really put peers in stuff like this because it's more about atmosphere than composition, although there are certainly riffs and uh, actual melodic structure here. Uh, the the Bandcamp page does mention, like, gnaw their tongues and stuff of that nature. And while I wouldn't say that this sounds like that, there's certainly commonalities, as you'll see, or maybe you won't, but you'll click the Bandcamp link because... I'm telling you this is good, and you should hear it. So, first off, here, let's have a look at this pour. Let's get to the beer for a second. You can see that nice, kind of light amber color, almost you know, it's thick though, almost like it's got like Hefeweizen vibes going in, but it's not wheaty, not wheaty. Uh, I'm just gonna let this beautiful little head subside. Ooh. So you can hear like, I'm not sure if you how well you can hear the drumming, but this is great because on. If you listen to it, just kind of the lower volume, or if you're not paying so much attention, it feels like it's going really slowly. Big strums, big just everything ringing out because of the fuzz. But with a careful ear, you realize it's really, really fast-paced uh, drumming, you know, fast uh, strumming, plucking, tremolo picks, etc. Uh, just absolutely thick, and just, it's very much up my alley. Certainly, uh, despite the beautiful packaging, I don't know if people who just are into the aesthetic of metal would like it so much as people who are truly passionate about chaotic 
sounds. Uh, this is violent. And really floral, strong citrus notes. Uh, a lot going on there. Uh, nice and like piney, great, pretty. Hey, sweet. Yeah, that's right, you're on camera. Um, really smooth sipping, very thin body, uh, not in a bad way. Hey, honey, please don't do that. Please, hey, 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 cut that out, cut that out. This is what happens when you film with your cat. Uh, she's about to interrupt, so, hey, please don't. Okay, well, there we go, and, uh, Everything changed for a second there. Yeah, here we are. Here, come, come chill out. Come be a good girl. Here we go. She's been a little bit of a butthead today because I've been home all day, but I've been doing things, not letting her sleep on me. Um, please don't play with candles, they're not fun. Really smooth, tropical, uh, the low alcohol content makes this almost too easy. Uh, if you are here on the west coast and you know do river rafting and the like, I could totally see this being like a great beer. Don't ever do like dangerous sports stuff under the influence of alcohol. Uh, you know, I mean, I'm totally a professional. I can give you advice. Uh, yeah, I don't even see a mention of the percentage on here. Oh, it's 4.7 percent alcohol, so it's you know it's light enough. And uh, it's absolutely delicious. I seldom grab IPAs and pale ales just because there's so darn many of them out here. Uh, I feel like I'm saying things I've said before in that term, but you know, really just smooth. I mean, this is 35 IBU. I feel like at this point we'd be just calling it a pale ale if it weren't 2015. But you know, that's how these things go. Uh, ooh. You can probably hear the pacing of the drumming there, at least. Just really, just constant plotting. Uh, absolutely just ominous. You, you feel like something just massive is coming at you. I, I feel like, I mean, it talks about like the great devourer of light and stuff. I feel like there's some sort of something huge and violent just coming in on the wind almost uh, you know just, I don't know I, I music for me is a very visual experience and it's hard to explain because obviously I'm not actually seeing something before my eyes so much as just my imagination is very vivid in that regard and I just I feel all these things they're so strong and tapes like this one really bring it out in me uh, Sometimes I feel like the less I have to go by musically, uh, you know, the the rawer recording is, the fewer safe polished edges there are, the more I fill in the blanks mentally. And I really, really enjoy that feeling. Um, uh, some of my folks from my day job have actually started keeping up with me on here, which, uh, whatever, I'm not ashamed of it. But one of them asked me, you know, because uh, you know, I like a lot of other music and we're talking, he said, what is it about heavy metal? What is it about this that draws you in? That's all he could think was, you know, just that, just for one, I'm, I've always been frustrated by the lack of thorough discourse on the subject of heavy metal. Uh, since I started writing about it, I realized there was a lot more than I thought. I just wasn't looking in the right places. But, you know, the other side of it, too, is that it's so visual. I may not know the lyrics to a song. I may not know what's happening, I may not be able to follow or hum along to it, but it conjures up something that is not just taking one of my senses, it's sound and vision, uh, and more sometimes, uh, and that for me is really vital. Hi, sweetie. What are you doing? 
to drinking condensation that was left behind from the beer. Hi. Um, you know, I do feel that we're running low on words here for this, and that's okay. It's been a couple of months since I filmed a video, although I posted one recently that I filmed, I think, in July. And, uh, you know, it's really good to be back to doing this. There aren't words for that, truly. Um, for those who got upset, uh, you know, I, I did lose a handful of, you know, my Patreon folks uh, in my absence. And I completely understand nothing was coming, uh, yet you folks continue to support. I respect you still, and I appreciate you still for all the love you've shown me. Uh, for those who are still watching and tuning in, or if this is your first time, I was gone for a couple months. My laptop was dead. Now I have a new one, and I'm a renewed sense of purpose, I'll say, too. Black Metal and Bruise is here to stay. Uh, it's been just over three years now that I've been doing this. Uh, about a year and a half now that I've been doing this on YouTube. And I can't wait to see what happens next. October is st starting tomorrow. Get ready for a lot of really good Mars and some other stuff, and I'm probably mispronouncing that word. Oktoberfest beers. Cheers. Thanks for tuning in.